Hello students. Uh, today we are going to revise the chemistry for class 7th, chapter 1. Uh, we will uh, discuss the page number 1 to page number 3. Children, this chapter, as it's named, it, named matter and its composition. Children, when we talk about matter and its composition, I would like to add to it, what is chemistry? Chemistry is the branch of science in which we study about the matter, its composition and properties. Its composition, its properties and its interaction with other substances. Now children, we come to the heading, matter. What is the matter? Matter is anything which occupies a space, has mass and can be perceived by our senses. Matter is anything which occupies a space, has mass and can be perceived by our senses. Matter may be the living, non-living. Matter may be the living, non-living. Other than this, the matter may be the man-made or the naturally occurring. When we are talking about the naturally occurring material like the living beings, especially the plants and animals, we study it in the biology. However, in the chemistry, we study about the matter which is non-living, man-made or the naturally occurring. Now here are the three states of matter. All the substances around us, you are a matter, I am a matter, the water is a matter. So they exist in different states, like the air around us is a matter. There are three states of matter, the solid, liquid and gas. So today we are going to talk about the matter, its composition and the, about the three states of matter in the chemistry of class 7, chapter 1. Page 1,2,3. To talk about the matter, firstly about the mass part. To check whether the matter has the mass, we can conduct a simple beam balance experiment. On a beam balance, on one side of the balance, we can keep the mass in different states, like in the solid, in the liquid. And in the case of gases, we can use a balloon and by filling the air in balloon, we can keep. In all the three cases, we will see that the beam of the balance is tilting into the side where the matter, the solid, liquid or gas is kept. By this experiment, we show that matter has mass. Then here, the next part of the uh, studies that matter occupies space. Of course, matter in all the three states, the solid, the liquid and the gas, occupies the space. For that, the first experiment in our book we are talking about is with the help of a measuring cylinder. Of course, when we take a measuring cylinder, we all know it's a cylindrical shape, vessel, in which the marking is made for taking the measurements 5 ml, 10 ml, 20 ml, 30 ml like that. So here in this when we take the liquid it occupies the space the first part that liquid occupies the space is already proved. However here to go further with the solid we take a stone tie it with a thread and immerse the stone inside the water. We find there is an increase in the level of the water showing that the stone, the solid, occupies the space. So we find that the solid as well as the liquid occupies the space. To understand that air also occupies the space, we can do a simple experiment. You can take the water like here, I am taking, you can take the water like in this mug. Now here, you all see, this glass is empty, generally when we will see, we are what we will see, this glass is empty, but the air is there, air occupies each and every space available on the earth, so the air is there and if we try to immerse this glass of water, inside water directly, without tilting it, the, as you see, the tumbler is not going down at all, ultimately forcing back, why? Because the air is there, which is not able to go. However, if I tilt the tumbler, what happens? 
from one side the air goes in, water goes in from another side the water uh, 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 water comes in and that's how it gets filled with the water so this experiment shows that the 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 uh, gas or the air occupies the space so we have discussed this part also matter occupies the space with the help of an experiment or two experiments. Now here children, we have to talk about the general properties of matter. What is the general properties which are very apparent, which we can discuss physically, like their mass. All the three states of matter, the solid, liquid and gas, has a mass and a fixed mass. A space, all three of them occupy a space. All three of them have a volume. But in the solid and liquid, the volume is fixed. In the case of gas, the volume is not fixed. It uh, gases take the uh, volume of the container in which they are kept. Then shape. Solid has a fixed rigid shape. Liquid takes the shape of the container in which they are kept. And gases also take the shape of the container in which they are kept. Compressibility. Solids are non-compressible. Liquids are slightly compressible. However, the gases are highly compressible. Density. Solids have highest density. Liquids less density. And the gases have least density. Free surface. Free surface is the number of free surfaces available where you can touch or write something or discuss something. Like here in the case of solid, if we can see, we can have any number of free surfaces. However, when we are talking about the liquid, liquids always have only one upper free surface. Just now when I had brought the water, you must have seen, it has only one upper free surface. And in the case of gases, they have no free surface. Here, the air is there, I can touch, you can touch, but you cannot say this is the last limit of this gas, here you can touch and the or hydrogen is there, oxygen is there, or the nitrogen is there. Then here the last point comes, that is diffusion. What is diffusion? Diffusion is mixing. The two solids, even if they are kept together, do not diffuse at all. Like here I take the two colored pens, they do not diffuse at all. The black remains black and the red remains red. However, when you talk about the diffusion of the liquid, some of the liquids diffuse, water and milk diffuse, water and alcohol diffuse, but water and oil do not diffuse, kerosene and water do not diffuse. So they may diffuse, they may not diffuse, but in the case of case, uh, gases, diffusion is 100%. Gases mix 100% all which. So why these properties and how these properties are, we will discuss in the next video when we are discussing the kinetic theory of matter. With this, I am concluding the uh, first video for the class 7th revision. Children, please uh, revise carefully and if you want to raise any points, you can always uh, message me or send me a uh, message on the telegram uh, or talk, uh, speak in the class. Thank you children. Uh, thank you everyone for watching.